Hello and welcome. This is your daily devotion from the Church of the Nazarene. The daily devotions come from the publication called Reflecting God that is published by the Church of the Nazarene through its publishing company, the Foundry Publishing. And it is provided to you by the Greenmar Valley Church of the Nazarene. Today we are reading from the book of Romans, chapter 12, and we will be reading verses 3 through 10. Here is the word of the Lord. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourselves more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourselves with sober judgment, in accordance with the faith God has distributed to each of you. For just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to the others. We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophecy, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. If it is serving, then serve. If it is teaching, then teach. If it is to encourage, then give encouragement. If it is giving, then give generously. If it is to lead, do so diligently. If it is to show mercy, do it cheerfully. Love must be sin sincere. Hate what is evil. Cling to what is good. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. And this is the word of the Lord. Our contributing editor, or author of the uh, daily articles that accompany our Bible studies, is Chris Gilmore. And he is the co-pastor of the Dwelling Church of the Nazarene in Wichita, Kansas. His first, first article this week is, Love Like You Mean It. Were you ever forced to apologize as a child? You may have muttered, I'm sorry, but an adult stopped you and said, say it like you mean it. This is Paul's instructions to Christians when it comes to loving the local church. Say it and live it like you mean it. We must genuinely care for and cherish God's people, the church. This isn't optional. We know this, we believe this, but sometimes we fail to mean it. If love is to be sincere, it will take work. We need God to give us humility, patience, and kindness. We need to be quick to forgive and to ask forgiveness. Imagine if we sincerely loved our church body. There would be no gossip, no heavy-handedness, and certainly no abuse. Hunger and loneliness would vanish. Each community would be a place where everyone is safe and belongs. This is God's hope for us. What steps can you take today to demonstrate your love for the people of God? How can you cultivate a sincere love for those who are difficult to love? Where do you need God to empower you to love those you worship with? The hymn is entitled, Blessed Be the Tie That Binds by John Fawcett. We share our mutual voices, our mutual burdens bear, and often for each other flows the sympathizing tear. And from the book, the Gospel of John, chapter 13, verse 34, we find a new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. This is your daily devotion for Monday, May the 10th. Have a blessed day.